All right, finally, finally game week. It seems like uh, it's been a long time. It's been, you know, four and a half weeks since we started camp and time we kick off on Saturday. It would have been five weeks of camp. So that's an awful long time to uh, continue practicing against yourself, hitting yourself every day at practice. I know our guys are ready to hit somebody else and uh, tackle somebody else and uh, compete against somebody else. And so it's been a good camp, though. We're just about uh, getting everybody back uh, from those typical camp day-to-day, uh, uh, -day, I guess, I don't know if you call them injuries, but day-to-day -day, uh, nagging type of injuries uh, that uh, you always are trying to overcome. But uh, with a little bit of time off, that has helped alleviate some of the, the pulls and strains and bruises and things like that. And so everybody right now, uh, tomorrow, we feel like for the most part, should be available and ready to go for Saturday. And um, hopefully we'll, we'll have a full full roster available for the most part on Saturday. Playing a very good Southeastern team. We've, I've, I've said it already a couple of times in other, other meetings, well documented that I think they're a very good football team. They won their last, I want to say their last six out of seven or seven out of eight games. Uh, so they finished really strong last year at the end of the season. And uh, they've got uh, a lot of really good players. Uh, when you when you say they're an FCS t team coming in, well, they're an FCS team playing with FBS players and with a lot of group uh, power five players. So, you know, they're, they're starting left tackle. Uh, he just transferred in from LSU, and he's already going to start there. That was not a surprise. And both their quarterbacks, one is from Utah and one's from South Carolina, and they both are very talented, can throw, uh, can run, especially the South Carolina kid Nunez can really run. Uh, he's a kid that, uh, from everything we hear, is a 4-3 type player that if you give him a crease, then he can house call you. And so we're going to have to do a great job of tackling. That's always a concern early in the first game, uh, especially, uh, you know, uh, when you hadn't tackled a lot in camp except for a few scrimmages. And, and with it being a wet game, you know, wet, a wet – a wet field or wet track sometimes doesn't only affect you with the football, it affects you tackling. So you've really got to wrap up even better in a, in a wet game because everybody is much more slippery and your arms are covered in water. And it's what you, you've got to really wrap up even more uh, in a rain game. But getting back to, to Southeastern, they've got, like I said, a talented team. They're a big offensive line. They're, they're as big as any offensive line we'll see this year. So um, they're, they're big up front. And their quarterback, one of, the, one of the quarterbacks is really big, too. Their receivers are all big. They're 6'1", 6'2", 6'3", across the board, and uh, athletic kids. Their, their defensive line, uh, they lost a few players, but they've got some really good players coming back. They've got an outstanding outside linebacker to me that will strike you, and he makes a lot of plays. Um, so they're always going to be good on defense you know, with, as long as Ron. You know, Ron does the defense there. He's been a long-time defensive coordinator as the head coach at every stop he's been. So he'll have his team prepared and ready to play. And so it will be a, it will be a, a challenge, especially coming out, of the, coming out of the blocks for the first game for us uh, with a new offense. And so uh, we're excited, though, to get started. I know Jordan, our quarterback, is excited to get started. Um, uh, you know, he's got a lot of confidence right now. He's got a lot of confidence in his teammates, and his teammates have a lot of confidence in him. And so we're anxious to – to get started so we can sort of see where we're at. You never know where you are until you have a chance to evaluate uh, your, your guys. And once you, you can't do that until you go against some live live competition. Uh, and so we'll, we'll know much more after Saturday. But we like where we're at right now. Hopefully all our guys will be available. Um, the kids are excited. They're going to play awfully hard. We need to have another good week of practice leading up to Saturday. And hopefully some of this rain is going to move out uh, before we play uh, on Saturday, but we're preparing, preparing for the worst and hoping, hoping for the best. Any, any questions? What are some of your concerns right now going into the season? Well, I think one is just uh, you know we got a couple of couple of positions, first time starters. You know, you got a first time starter at running back, first time starter at quarterback, and first time starter at, at center. And so those are those are always uh, those are three pretty pretty key positions. But luckily, they're surrounded by the rest of the team, which is all returning starters. And so that is, uh, for the most part, uh, they've, got, they've got a good surrounding cast, and we've got good players uh, that are competing for the first time. Cole Prudham, as of right now, will get the start at the center position, although Cordell Stewart will play. Uh, both those guys are still sort of competing. I uh, like both of those guys. They're both are, are really talented. And so um, but we're going, I think we're going to start with Cole to begin with. Uh, but anxious to see how the new guys respond, not just not just offensively, but but defensively. Were you able to accomplish the conditioning you said you wanted to accomplish after the scrimmage? I mean, the rain. I know. 
Yeah. You know, that, that hadn't really changed. You know, we've we've run them and prepared them, you know, the best we can when you're running indoors. You know, we've still been practicing indoors, even though last night we went out in the rain and practiced in the rain. Uh, you can't simulate the, the, the wet ball drill unless you get out in the wet ball drill. You know, back in, uh, you know, you can always get out the old bucket, but it does not simulate it when you can practice in the rain if you're anticipating playing in the rain. And so we're going to practice outdoors in the rain as much as we possibly can, as long as there's no lightning this week. So we're going to be outdoors. But the conditioning part, um, you know, time will tell. Luckily, the temperatures don't, don't call for very hot temperatures on Saturday, especially being a night game. So, you know, I don't think we're going to get those 100-plus temperatures that you worry about that we've only seen a few times that have, that have showed their head uh, throughout camp. Most of the time it's been cloud cover, light rain. Um, so we'll find out about our conditioning, but that was always one part I was always concerned about, especially if we'd have opened up Saturday with one of those real August sunny hot days. That would have made it tough. Have not yet, have not yet, but it's probably going to be right now. Uh, right now, Trey Regas and Jordan Wright, one of those, one of those two. Right now, we'll probably make that decision later in the week. Yeah, I, I think any time that you're you're playing against uh, guys that you're familiar with, you know, a lot of these guys played high school ball with these guys or against them in high school, or they're familiar with them, and and not just the the you know the guys that they may have played against, but they're familiar with, with some of their players on the team through the recruiting processes, and so uh, that always adds a little bit to it. And same way for those guys, they're going to come in here with a chip on their shoulder because uh, you know obviously they wanted to play Division One football, so don't think they're not going to come in here with a chip on their shoulder. And, you know, to be honest with you, probably half their team is made up of Division I players that's transferred back to FCS. So uh, they've got some outstanding players. Make no mistake about it. You gotten anything extra from Coach Lucas this week? In, you know, I mean, he was head coach there at one point in time. Yeah, know. yeah, but, that's, you know, it's been a while since Coach Lucas was the head coach there. and uh, But, you know, obviously he's familiar with the university. But since he's been there, obviously they've, you know, there's no players that are still there. So it's nothing really that he can really add to it. But uh, obviously, I know he would would love to, to do well against those guys. All right. Linebacker starting. Uh, it's going to be uh, uh, T.J. Posey and Tanner Holmes. We'll get the start at the mic and the wheel. And obviously, uh, the guy we just signed a couple weeks ago, Justin Middleton, him and uh, um, Jot Boudreaux will back up those two guys. Mm -hmm. What is that going to take with the personnel? That that you know, we got to we got to stop the run with these guys. You know, they're they're going to try to run the run the football. They're going to try to run the option, the triple option, double option, and then they're going to take some shot plays and try to get get behind you and with the play action. Uh, and they've got some big receivers, and so we're going to do a really good job in the back end. And what makes it difficult is this: you know, to stop the run. You know, you've got to. to Put a lot of people in the box, which leaves you susceptible to the to the pass and to the play action. So, we're going to, have to do a great job um, of of um, of playing in the back end, coming up, stopping the run, but trying to eliminate the big plays. And so that that's the challenge when you're facing a team that runs the option and then's got some big playability. The line, With the exception, Grant is now at left, and Diakwin is at right. So the tackles, it just flip-flopped because Grant, with the, with the, with the early uh, camp foot injury he had, which is healed, he just feels much better on the left side. And to be honest with you, it's really paid off. To me, I sort of wish we'd had it like that to begin with because we seem to be even better with where they were, where they are now. And then with Cole at center and Cordell at center too. So Cordell will play. I don't want to say he's not. He's, they were planning on playing them both, but Cole, as of now, will get the start. Come out of camp. Positions do you feel most confident about? Well, you know, obviously, offensive line, defensive line, and secondary. They've got the most starters back, the most experience. And so, um, and then I would, I would have to throw the receivers in there. Even though they're young, all of those guys played last year, especially Jaquette, Barnes, and Bradley. Uh, so, those four positions right now, you, you've got to feel pretty good about those guys. I think they're all good players. Our D line's deep. DeBoris Lee's had a great camp. Uh, we've got some depth there, especially at the end. Joe Dillon, Jarvis Jeffries, Tr uh, Trev Miller. 
And so we're, these guys are geared up now. They're 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 anxious to play, especially at defense. And they've been they've been very physical this 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 camp. And um, I'm I'm anxious to see those guys on game day. Yeah, Sam is hitting the ball really well, and he's hitting it high with a lot of hang time. And so that's the thing that, you know, obviously as a kicking coach, you, you like to see. Uh, his net's really good. You know, he's a three-year starter, so he, he's he's been really good, and he's a really good holder. He's got a lot of experience in that. So he's given Stevie even more confidence. But Sam is uh, is – I think he's got a chance to be an outstanding punter in this league, if not maybe one of the best punters in the league. He's got a great get-off time. He's got great hang time. And so uh, he's been a great addition to our program. He's 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 a top-notch guy. He's he's working hard. Yeah, you know, obviously, you know, about the first, you know, we've probably punted inside for about two weeks. Although the punters have gone out in the rain and, and worked in the rain a little bit, so they're they're more they're probably more used to the wet ball and than anybody. So I had to get them outdoors just to do any kicking. So. They're they're probably more prepared for the rain than anybody. So, but he's had a good camp as long as Steve Yart had the best camp of any, probably of any player on the team. The guy right now is crushing the ball, and uh, if 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 it calls for, I wouldn't have any uh, any hesitation on giving him a long field goal. How long? Don't know, but it would be a. I, I would give him a pretty long one. The guy is crushing the ball right now, and uh, with with great confidence, and uh, uh, he's got a very strong leg. He's he's worked really hard. We did. Good. Man, it, it is a first-class surface, and uh, it really will add a lot, you know, to the for, for our players. I think hopefully it's going to minimize injuries, and that's for both teams on the field. You know, it's just you're going from a from a surface that was about, practice, about like practicing on the parking lot out there in Cajun Field to now a very a, – just a first-class surface um, that's much more forgiving, I think. Uh, so it, it's – our players, I know, are really, we're really fired up about it. Um, Moving forward. How has your confidence in Jordan grown these last five weeks, and, and in what ways, without see, having seen him much live, just kind of in what ways has he improved? I, I think the number one thing, I think I told somebody this not too long ago, one of the pressers, is that, uh, you know, his confidence, but how he responds to coaching, how he responds to correction, and how he responds when he, when he makes a mistake, you know. Sometimes in the past, not just him, but some younger players, if they make a mistake, well, they, they just can't move past it to the next play. And he, he has really learned to move on, go to the next play, worry about the next play. Um, and he's been very coachable. He's got a great relationship with Will. Will's got a lot of confidence in him. And, uh, you know, he's got some, some, some talent around him. I, I really feel like it, with, it tied in with Raynard Ford and then Chase Rogers and then the wide outs and then a stable full of, uh, I think, of very good running backs. They just need experience. But he, he is uh, – his confidence, his coachability, his willingness to doing it the way we want him to do it. And like I said, he's going to make mistakes. Every player on our team is going to make mistakes. Just unfortunately, the right guard's mistake doesn't show up as glaringly uh, as the quarterback's mistakes, and so, uh, but it, it, it'll be uh, it'll be fun to watch him play. He's he's waited his turn and paid his dues and worked awfully hard. Coach, can you really judge his progress of return games until you play another team, or what do you feel? About oh no 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 question. You know we we've got to get some work uh, and sort of see you know how our return guys are going to do. If you're talking punt return, kick return, Raheem Malone uh, and uh, uh, Raheem will be the the punt returner. And then um, Raymond Calais will be the kickoff returner. And uh, both of those guys at Raymond last year I thought was doing a really good job until he went down early. So now he's back, and I'm, I'm really hoping that he can help us. And we've got to help our offense. You know, last year we did not score as, you know, obviously near as many points as we wanted to and needed to, but we never gave our offense a short field with turnovers or a great return. And so, you know, uh, you know, offense is a team sport just like defense is a team sport. When the defense, when the offense moves a ball, if they don't score, they end up with putting the ball deep, pinning them deep and making them have to go 90. Well, then your offense helps your defense play good defense. And so in return, our kicking team and our defense has got to help our offense play good offense. We need to get some great field position with returns, uh, with turnovers. Uh, things like that in order to, you know to, to be able to score points it, uh, it all goes it all goes hand to hand it's hard to go 90 and 80 every single time so hopefully our return team will be better what will we see different in um, your home offense i think one uh, 
the, the concepts a l- little bit different. So uh, you're going to see some of the run game concepts are going to be uh, much different. The passing game concepts are much different. Um, we're not running very many. I mean, if any, we're not hardly – our pass and run concepts – you won't notice a lot from from last year. Now, some of, I would take it back. Some of the run, maybe a little bit of that. It's only so many runs you do out of the, out of the shotgun, but uh, it is much different. How he prepares, how he calls the game is much different. Uh, and then the things that we're looking forward to do throughout the game, based on the situations and how he prepares for that, is, is different. And so um, he's been very successful everywhere he's been. And obviously, this has been an opportunity for me to sort of give him the keys to the offense. This is the first time, and this is our seventh year, the first time that I've not not uh, really have a hand in the offense. You know, as far as the head coach, yeah, I'm gonna say, hey, we're gonna go for it, or uh, we're gonna we're gonna uh, dial up. Maybe it's time for a deceptive play right here, or hey, I want to go for it here, or whatever. But it, it's gonna be his his scheme, and so um, he's done a great job in preparation. He's been doing this a long time. And I've got a lot of confidence in him and our football players and our offensive staff as well as the rest of our staff.